Hello everybody, uh, it's been a long time. Welcome back to um, this channel that is kind of sort of dead right now. <laughs> Very sorry for that, I meant to make something earlier but it didn't happen. Um, well, I currently don't have a bird to show you because I released her back in May. It is July now. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, she did very well. Caught a bunch of squirrels. Caught a bunch of ra a couple rabbits here and there. She did very good though. Um, she got a stick. I think we're successful if she kills kills a stick. Um, no, but we got squirrels and a rabbit or so. She killed a lot of really random stuff. Um, so today I have brought my giant head and also change of scenery. It's a white wall now. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, it's a different wall. I moved. That's also why it's been forever is because I moved and, um, I'll be disappearing again after this for like a long time because <laughs> I'm moving again. So we won't, this is probably one of the very few videos that's going to be in this room because I'm moving again. <laughs> so that's exciting. Um, yeah, I'm living elsewhere, but giant hood. So, a few things to look for in giant hoods that you're probably going to want is something that is easily accessible to one hand. So this one here is made by one of my buddies from Abatement, Bird Abatement, Alberto. He or his wife, I think, sewed it together and then sent it to me. It's very nice. I think I paid, I don't remember what I paid. I want to say, I don't know. Maybe 90, 85, I don't know. I got a discount though. Y'all, if you get stuff from him, you will not get that discount. And this is a extra large or large. His large ones are for Harris Hawks and his extra large is like, I had to get an extra large because here in the western areas, we get all very big red tail hawks. So our hawks are massive compared to like usual female um, Harris's. Our red tails are massive. So I had to get like an extra large so that it would be wide enough as well as thick enough to house her. And this is probably like a good 18 inches and it has this is a see-through flap for ventilation and it's on both sides they can turn over and connect up here so they do I just can't there it goes but yeah you can fold them over and keep it open this one has carry handles and on the back it also has a backpack feature, so if you're going long distance, you can wear it, and it's fine. So, I really like the zipper feature. That's probably my favorite part. And when you get it, it has, well, it has studs on the inside. You can't really see them, but over there you can kind of see it. So on all four corners, it has wood and comes with everything. You just basically screw it in. There's the stand. It's really lightweight. It probably weighs like maybe five pounds. And an AstroTurf on everything. And if you want, you can go across the edges of the wood, sand it down like I did. Uh, we permanently attached the wood um, because when you get it, this one is collapsible. So they just kind of stick up in there and then you can like break it down and pull it apart and this outer shell is actually machine washable, which means it's extra, extra clean. So everything in this, well, I can still break it down, 
me and my father just reattached some corner bits and things to make it more sturdy because my bird liked to uh, twist and spin and spin and spin so she'd unlodge these but normally birds aren't gonna do that she was just weird because she's a wild bird <laughs> My sponsor has a bunch of these. His birds do fine. He doesn't have to like permanently keep it up or anything. He just, you know, puts it together, calls it good. Um, yeah, I really, really liked it. This thing's great. I have used it. That's my whole giant hood for the red tail hawk for all season. I've used it everywhere. Super lightweight, super easy to carry. Even in the field, you can like take it with you. It's really cool. Um, you can use it for any bird, really. But that's me like sitting up next to it. You can kind of see how big it is. My hands are really small too, so it doesn't really show size too well. Um, it's bigger than mine. Pretty cool. I quite like it, so. I figured I'd share that with you guys and talk a little bit about that. But for giant hoods, it's important to have one that fits your bird and is safe. Uh, there's several sites, like uh, I think Mike sells one. But typically you have to make modifications to make them work well so they don't just leak out the back. This one I've never had a problem with. Um, of course, you can line the bottom with whatever you want. If you want to change out your AstroTurf, you just rip it up, put some new stuff. Um, Easy clean. I've never had an issue. But, yeah, I figured I'd share that. Talk a little bit about it. Giant hoods are very important falconry, and, uh, hopefully you found that mildly entertaining to listen to. I don't know. Uh, if you want to comment your favorite giant hoods, you're welcome to below, or, you know, follow me on here. I apologize I won't be on here a whole lot, but I'm going to try to make a couple of videos in advance so that I don't have to worry about this, but it, it, it may or may not happen. <laughs> I'm a little unreliable in my posting, but that's okay because we're, we're moving and we're not. I'm not going to have a bird for a, probably a solid year. It's okay. I can still talk about it and not have a bird. And that is fine. Because if I'm moving, I... Like, I'm moving, moving, so... Uh... Can't really do anything, because I have to re-register a new address. And if you move, you can't... Yeah, it, it, it's... It's... It's a... Th it's a thing. If you're in falconry, you know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about when you move. It's a rough time because you got to get a new facility built in your general vicinity because they can show up and be like, can we inspect you? Yeah. So you have to get a whole new inspection when you move. It's a mess. Um, so I don't plan on getting a bird at all or doing anything for that matter for like a good year until I get a more permanent location to reside in. But until then, uh, I'm gonna still make interesting videos about birds and different stories that I have or whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, you can comment below whatever you want or I don't know, ask me anything, I guess. I've done a whole lot. I've worked with a lot of different kinds of birds, which I'll talk about more often a little later. Different video. All right. Uh, Y'all have a good day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and put this away now. All right. Bye.